Argentina, the world's sixth largest beef producer, is banning exports to curb spiraling domestic prices. President Alberto Fernandez has prohibited overseas sales for 30 days and says his government is rolling out emergency measures to support the industry. Now, Argentina's beef exports reached $3 billion last year, partly due to rising demand from China. The government is concerned as domestic prices have shot up by 65% over the past year. That's prompting many Argentinians to eat less red meat. Per capita consumption has plunged from 69 kilograms per person in 2009 to 48 kilograms in 2020. Now, beef producers say if they can't sell overseas, they'll also stop selling locally. Farm groups have banded together and will be striking for a week in protest against the new measures. Nobody likes to go on strike, but we believe the decisions taken by the government are deeply mistaken. Now let's get more on this from Remy Piet. He's joining me from Miami and he's a senior partner at Mbelli Advisory. Welcome to the show. Now, can this move work or is the government digging a deeper hole for itself? Well, there's different ways of, of reading the, the situation. And there's the, on the economic level, obviously, it's a decision that will impact strongly the farming sector, which has been traditionally opposed to the Alberto Fernandez administration. On a political level, uh, obviously, the, the administration in place is, is very cautious of, you know, the next few policies ahead of the elections at the end of this year. Uh, there was, and, and uh, Argentina is, uh, is marred by a situation of stagflation, so basically a stagnation of the economy while inflation of prices increased, especially especially for first necessity goods. And in the culture of, of Argentina, red meat is essential. It's also very essential in the most impoverished part of the society where anemia or the lack of access to good quality food is important. And by taking this decision, Alberto Fernandez has sacrificed uh, you know, aspects of, of the economy in favor of, of trying to provide you know, red meat and, 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 and decent prices to the basis of the consumption of everyday Argentinian. Will it be uh, you know, seen favorably by, by the agro-industry? Obviously not. It's a symptom of, of the risk that you have to, to, to bear when you actually work in Argentina. But it might be actually a, a decision to permit more stability at the national level ahead of elections, because uh, with the current increase of prices in everyday uh, products, you would have seen a resounding you know, uh, 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 potential demonstration in the next few weeks in Argentina, as in many other countries in Latin America. So we'll come back to that election angle in a moment. But I first want to ask you now, Argentina isn't just an exporter of beef. They have lots of different food products many of them, and yet they face high food prices. Why is that? Well, it's, it's for a series of different reasons. I mean, first of all, the, the, the currency impact of, of, of you know, beef that is actually sold in Argentina in pesos compared to the ones that are you know, sold international and international market in U.S. dollars. Uh, there's also competition in terms of consumers here in the sense that the demand for beef globally has been more important. So there's a, obviously an incentive for producers to export and limit the quantity for consumption of, 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 of beef uh, domestically in Argentina because they are not sold at the same price. So the idea here cannot is to limit the exportation and therefore provide more supply to the domestic market and decreasing the price in Argentina. Uh, it's turning a, a sector that has been successful in Argentina and into this export-driven uh, uh, strategy to actually first supply the domestic market for food security and the decrease of everyday prices for the, the population. It's not going to be you know, seen favorably, obviously, by the agro-industry uh, sector in, in Argentina, which usually you know, supports uh, the, the opposition uh, to the Alberto Fernandez uh, uh, administration, uh, but it's understandable if your goal is actually to sustain, you know, social stability in a country. Uh, whether it's for 30 days, uh, the reaction from the industry was to declare a, a, a strike for seven days, which is going to be extremely unpopular with the uh, average citizens in Argentina because you're depriving them of meat uh, for for the next uh, week or so. Uh, but it's going to be very interesting to see this as a symptom of an economy which has faced stagflation and, and is unstable politically for the last few decades. So for well, investors, very quickly now. President Fernandez is saying that he has a whole new other policy that he's going to roll out to help bring down prices, but so far he hasn't been able to do that, neither have his predecessors. Do you expect anything different this time, something out of the box? So, I mean, 
let, let's be clear here. I mean, Argentina has a history of, of mismanagement of different parties and, and, and the lack of you know, cohesion from its society in terms of, of being able to submit you know, domestic uh, savings and, and capital to, to, uh, to support you know, potential investment in the country. So that's, that's the microeconomics of, of, of Argentina. However, today we're looking at a situation which is you know, unknown from you know, many uh, decades, which is the, the post-pandemic, and the impact that it has on everyday economics and, and potential support to government. Uh, Albert so Fernandez is definitely making the bet of, you know, more popular, you know, maybe a populistic move, definitely, but more support from the society ahead of the elections. Uh, it would have been very poorly seen from the population that a, a sector that has been extremely successful the last few years, which is the exporting of meat products, would actually benefit at a time when the, the everyday citizen in Argentina do not, you know, have, have a very hard time to go through. So it's a question of, of you know, decision to, you know, get more support towards the elections, obviously, uh, but also to try to, you know, get some, some support from the sector that has, you know, been maybe the exception to the rule to the, to the well-being of the economic exporters out of Argentina. So definitely a very populist move, but whether or not it's practical remains to be seen. Thank you very much, Remy Pierre, there from Miami.